Well, today we're celebrating Earth Day with the City of Lakeland's Green Celebration. We've got a great reggae band job movement. And the beautiful thing about the Green Celebration is we have over 20 schools that participate and they have green living displays on recycling, reuse, and things of that nature. It's an awesome event. At our school, we try to make up a lot of ways to help others go green. A few years ago, some students of ours designed a hydroponic system that uses drip filters to help water all the plants. Using this system, we also have our edible schoolyard at Magnolia, which we can make healthy snacks and recipes from. Okay. Um, with the compost that we have at our school, we feed it to the worms, which make which poo and make great fertilizer for our plants. And to factor in the reuse and the recycle, reuse, and reduce system, we also reuse stuff at school to make art, as you can see from our recycle box. We also have a community garden at Fort Porter where people can go in and pick some fresh produce, and it's all organic. Here at Jude Academy, we do a lot of art and trash. These are old wine bottles covered in newspaper, tissue paper, basically whatever other stuff we can get our hands on. And this is a peacock we made from another old wine bottle and old transparencies from the old style projectors that most of the teachers don't use anymore. This is called an icosahedron, and I've made most of these. This is newspaper. We display them around the school a lot and just mainly just for our just make our school look better. At least a hundred kids are participating. So we are helping the bees because the bee population is going down. So we're planting wildflowers because they can spread quickly. The disease is spreading throughout Florida's citrus trees, so they don't have anything to pollinate, so they can't, like, they're dying. But if you plant the wildflowers, then they spread really quickly. They spread like wildfire, hence the name wildflowers. Bees are a big part of our ecosystem. Without them, our whole ecosystem would basically fall apart. Without bees, we won't have honey.